Hi, Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon. Welcome to the channel Relax Geological Talk with me, Dr. Hamza Muhammad, former professor of geology. Voluminous studies had been carried out by researchers in order to certain, certain the proportion of water and land on our planet. At present, the most reliable data is 71% of the planet's surface is covered by water and the remaining 29% by land mass. Out of the 100% water on the Earth's surface, by large ocean and sea, taken about 96.54% of the total water. And inland water cover the rest that is about 3.46%, making the total of the water 100%. The simplest way of dividing the water or the, uh, to characterize the water is by dividing them into ocean and sea water and inland water. Of course, ocean and sea water, which make up about 66.54% of the total water in our planet is supplied by ocean as well as sea. I put here seven the largest ocean of the world that is Arctic, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, North Pacific, South Pacific, Indian Ocean and Antarctic Ocean. While the seven sea, that is the seven largest sea of the world, contribute less than the ocean. Uh, those are Mediterranean, the Asian fat, Asian fat of Mediterranean, the Philippine Sea, the Coral Sea, Mediterranean. American side, Arabian Sea, Sargossa, and South China Sea. So ocean and sea contribute 96.54% of the total water of our world. In inland water, the South is four types of water body here. And I give the percentages for each one. The largest contributors to the inland water is ice cap, glacier, and snow, permanent snow water. That contribute about 1.74 percent out of the inland water. The second category is groundwater. That's water that we found below Earth's surface, which can be divided into two. Either they are fresh water or saline and brackish water. The percentages are fresh water contribute 0.76% of the groundwater and the salines 0.93%. The third category of inland water is lakes, which also divided into fresh 
water lakes and saline one and the amount is far less as compared to the groundwater and of course as compared to ice cap glacier and snow which is the fresh portion is only 0.0124% and the saline portion is even smaller 0.0006%. The more familiar with us is river water. The fresh portion is 0.0002% and the saline portion of river water is almost unknown. What I want to show to you here is the actual amount of consumable water to people, to mankind, and the civilization. The main resources are three, again groundwater, lake, and river water, taking into consideration that ice cap, glacier, and snow is not consumable, at least at present. So if we add up the contribution of fresh water from groundwater, from lakes, and from river, we found that the amount is only from groundwater, the fresh water is 0.76%. From lake, the fresh water is even, even smaller, 0.0124. And from river, the fresh portion is 0.002%, making the total of 0.7726. If we add up the contribution from lake and river water, I mean the fresh lake and fresh river water, they contribute to 0.0126% of the total water of the world. The figure here in the simplest form is it was about 1.2 portion in 10,000 portion of water. So from here, we can appreciate that even though water abundant in our planet, the available or usable water to mankind and civilization is only just above one portion in 10,000 portion of water. So that's all that I would like to share with you today. And don't forget uh, to subscribe by pushing the subscribe button, share the video, and like the video so that you will be able to follow easily the incoming videos from me. So before we go, I'll show you the fresh water which make just over one portion of 10,000 portion of water of our world. That's what we have to appreciate. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.